In this video, we're going to learn how to create a 2D multiplication table in Python. So this here is an example of a 2D multiplication table where we have column headings here from one to 10 and we have row headings here from one to 10. And each cell in the table gives us the product of multiplying the row heading by the column heading. So two times seven gives us 14 and nine times eight gives us 72 and so on. Let's create a Python program to print out one of these tables. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter the table dimension. So we'll call the input function and we'll pass it the string enter table dimension with the range one to 99 because we're going to limit our tables to this range of dimensions. And this text is going to be output to the user the string the user enters is going to be returned by the input function. We'll convert that string to an int value using the int function. And then we'll store that int into a variable called dimension. And we'll use this dimension to make our table. We'll make sure the dimension is in the valid range. We'll have here if dimension is greater than or equal to one and dimension is less than or equal to 99, then we'll make the table. Otherwise, we'll have an else case where we're going to output here, dimension must be in the range one to 99. Now, if the dimension is in range, we'll output the table one row at a time, beginning with this special row here, containing X and the column headings from one up until and including the dimension. Now, we'll output each product and row heading and column heading and X into a field of width five characters. This will ensure our table columns have a consistent width. The first thing we'll do is output X into a field of width five characters. We'll use an F string to help with this. We'll have print and then we'll have an F string where we output the string X right aligned into a field of width five characters. So this here is an F string and here we're outputting the string X into a field of width five characters right aligned. Now, normally when using print, after print outputs the string, we pass it as an argument, the print function will also output a new line character that will cause any output from an additional call to print to occur on the next line of the terminal. But in this case, that is not what we want because here, after we output X, what we want to output on the same line is the numbers between one and the dimension. So here we'll have the keyword argument end is equal to the empty string. This will alter the default behavior of print so that it no longer outputs the new line character after outputting this string. Next, we'll create a for loop to output the column headings from one up until and including the dimension. So we'll have here for n in range and we'll have one and dimension plus one here. So in the first loop iteration, n is going to be set to one. Then in the next loop iteration, n is going to be set to two. This will continue all the way up until n being set to dimension. And we'll output the column headings from one to dimension using the for loop body. So we'll have print, and again, we'll have an F string here, where we're going to output n into a field of width five where it's going to be right aligned. And again, we'll have end is equal to the empty string to turn off the default behavior of print outputting a new line character after outputting the string. Now, after this loop is done, we're going to call print with the empty string. This will cause the new line character to be output because after we output the last column heading here, we do want to start outputting things on the next row. So to output each row of data, we'll use another for loop. We'll have here for n in range, and again, we'll have one to dimension plus one. So again, this loop body is going to run with n going from one up until and including dimension. And we're going to use this loop to output each row in this table here from one up until and including this dimension here. So what we'll do first is output the row heading. We'll have here print 
and we'll use an F string again to output N into a field of width five. So we'll have N colon five to do this. And again, we'll have end is equal to the empty string. So this call to print here is going to output each row heading here. And then we'll have a for loop output the products for that row. So I'll have here a for loop with four I in range one to dimension plus one where I is going to go from one up until and including the dimension. And as I goes from one to two to three, all the way up until and including the dimension, we'll take I and multiply it by the row number N to give us the product for that column in the table. So we'll have here a call to print where we have an F string where what we'll output is I times N and we'll output that into a field of width five. And again, we'll have end is equal to the empty string. Then after outputting all the products for this row, we'll output a new line with print and the empty string so that the next row of output begins on the next row of the terminal. So we'll save our program now and we'll try it out. I'll put in 10 for the table dimension and we get here a 10 by 10 multiplication table. I could try something like eight and we'll get an eight by eight table. I could try 12 and we'll get a 12 by 12 table. So this is how we can create a 2D multiplication table using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.